Hey guys, so I just w got back from Happy Harry's, or Walgreens, sorry. In my area, it used to be Happy Harry's, but then Walgreens bought it. But I still like to call it Happy Harry's. So, um, I went out to dinner with my girlfriend, Tina, and then we went to Walgreens afterwards together because I really wanted to try the new Dream Bouncy Blush by Maybelline. So, I thought I'd do a little haul video because I also got some other stuff. And I went to the Goodwill today, and I got um, just a few things, so... Thought I'd just do a quick little haul for you guys, um, a few reviews. I haven't really tried these products. I literally just got home, so um, we're kind of going to try them out together. So I'm going to open them for the first time with you guys, and then we'll um, kind of see what they feel like, the consistency, what the color payoff is. So let's get started. So um, I wanted to do just a mini clothing haul today because it snowed so I didn't have to go into my internship so I took today to go to the Goodwill and I was kind of disappointed by what they had to be honest with you um, compared to the Goodwill by my sister. The one did not have a lot of stuff but I did find a few things that I was looking for. I really wanted to get a few blouses to wear like tucked into jeans with chunky sweaters and like layered necklaces so I did get two of them. So I got this green one. I'll move over so you can see it. It's like this stuff hasn't been cleaned or um, anything yet, so it's like wrinkly. I got this green. This is actually 100% silk, um, so that's really nice. This green blouse. It has like this pocket here. It's really flowy. Um, it'll look really nice. It's a great color for fall, so I'm excited to try that out. It definitely needs to be cleaned and ironed for sure. And I also got another blouse. Also, 100% silk from the Goodwill in this kind of like pewtery, let me fold the collar down, this kind of pewtery color. And it has the two little pockets. Um, so, just basic. There's like a little button detail on the back. Uh, so, this will be really cute too. Again, once I iron and wash it. And I also, I'm not sure about this, but I thought this could do with some sewing or editing, maybe some tailoring. I got this like little shirt dress. And I was thinking about, I haven't tried it on yet, but it definitely would needs to be short. And I think it would look really cute if it had like a shorter hem and a nice waist belt. So it's kind of like this um, chambray denim fabric. And I kind of want to just kind of make this little project and see what I could do with it. So that'll be fun. And I wanted to show you guys, I've been meaning to show you this army jacket that I got when I was in New York. Um, this is an old, a vintage Italian military jacket. And what I loved about it, this is it, and it has like these little star detailing at the collar. And what I loved about it was that it has um, a waistline. So it has here, if you can see, it has uh, elastic at the waist, so it's kind of going to give me a more feminine shape. I've been wearing it a lot. I was actually thinking about attaching a fur collar to it also to add like a little kind of richness to it. So this is something that I've been wanting so bad and I'm glad. It was it was kind of expensive for a vintage shop, but then again, I was in New York. It was like $30, $30 I think, so um, I love this. I've been wearing it nonstop. So let's get to the cosmetics part of this. So I just wanted to do, I've tried these before, but the reason I even went in there was to get these clean and clear um, facial cleansing wipes. Here, let's see if we can focus. There you go. And these are really great. They're oil free. They take off um, my makeup, my um, water resistant eyeliner, and they get everything off and they leave you with a really clean feeling, which is nice because sometimes I feel like even after you use a wipe, you still have to wash your face. And I really like these. I think they're like $4.99. They're not cheap um, for a drugstore product, but there's 25 in a pack, and I really like these. So I just was um, re-upping on those. And I also got, I was drawn to this Wet n Wild Juicy Lip Balm. I think these are, these are new. So this is the label. Do you see it? There we go. Focusing, I hope. And I just loved how like, big and chunky it was. See, that's the the um, applicator and it just, it's just like pretty strawberry color. It has a nice strawberry smell. It was $2.99. I just really liked it. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's super moisturizing, a little bit glossy. You can't, it doesn't really have a lot of color. It just adds a little shininess, but I really like this. It's just a fun packaging. Like I love when the stick of product is like really chunky. I don't know why. So um, this is just a great new chapstick. I'm always trying new chapsticks. And I also was drawn to this L'Oreal um, Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. 
and it's really pretty it's like um just white pearlescent and I haven't put it on yet I've been looking for um like a um, a highlighter because I really am obsessed with JLo's glow that she has on American Idol. So I've been trying out a bunch of different highlighters. So this will be my next one. It is like so pretty. It's like really pearlescent. If you could see it like glowing on my hand. It's really pretty. So I can't wait to try this. And I'm going to try to um, mix it with my foundation. And I'm going to try to apply it alone. Um, so this was like um, $11.99, $12, not cheap, but hopefully it'll be a really great product that I will use a lot. So um, they also made a, kind of a pen applicator for it, which would be cool. It kind of is like the YSL Touche Eclat. Eclat? I, I don't speak French. Um, so this will be nice to try out, especially with spring and summer coming. It's always good to have a nice highlighter to highlight your cheekbones and your tan and make you look glowing. And I'm also super excited. I got one of these Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes. And is it upside down? No. And I really am kind of into blushes right now. So I wanted to try this one because I only have one blush that I really use. And it's the Maybelline like Matte Blush. It's really, I mean, I like it a lot. But I saw Dulce Candy using this. And it just looked so fun. And I'm like really a, um, a sucker for packaging. So, all right, well this doesn't come off so I just opened it and I'm gonna pop it open and this is the color that I got I got uh, peach satin which is number 20 so I just wanna so it has this like really soft little pillowy applicator which is so cool and let's get see if we can get some color off this guy oh this is pretty so that is what color it is. Let me see if I could find it. There it is. Can you see it? It's just it's like that. It's very light, um, but I really like how it feels. You could see it on my finger better, I think. So this, I'm going to have to try it out on my face, but I really like how soft it is. And this is a, a peach color. Um, I don't really wear a lot of peaches, but um, it says it feels lightweight like a powder, yet melts into skin like a cream. So I'm super excited about this. If I like it, I might even get more colors, like a, a pink color. They have like a really pretty like um, ginger color. And then they also have like a, a light, light pink color, which was so nice. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, I think I'm going to try these and then I'll post a review for you guys of all these new products. So um, I hope you guys like this haul. Hopefully I will like everything I got because otherwise I'm just waste the money. But um, I'll be sure to update you guys and let you know how things go and let you update, keep you updated on my tailoring product project. And I think I'm going to be taking a sewing class, so hopefully I'll be able to do these things myself. But, um, hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!